Oh, some I see somebody wrote Byron Donald. Did you see he was out at one of the campuses? Oh yeah, he pulled up out there, Grifton. Yeah, and I this seen old that. and this old dude was older than him. It was uh, was talking, called him a coon and shit. <laughs> oh, come on, we gotta bring that up. Where's this? No, tell me. I, I <laughs> no, he called him a coon. Yeah, he called him Uncle Tom. <laughs> Uncle Tom, where is yeah. this? How much is APAC yes, paying you, is. you bastard? That being said, How much ooh, is APAC you, paying you, you, you race traitor? Outside agitators aren't allowed. You're working for a foreign entity, you You're bastard. Get him out of here, sir. That guy's really old to be in college. Sir. Anyway, <laughs> why the United States? <laughs> What's worse, though, like getting called to Uncle Tom by a black person or by a white person? Damn. Or by a non-black person. It's got to be by a non-black person. Because you really got to be so twisted. <laughs> you got to be. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this has got to be dissected. <laughs> because on one hand, the non-black person is like, they think all black people should think alike. Right? Yeah. So they're just going off of one template of Negro thought. Yeah. But on the other hand, they got to be like, damn, this nigga acting, he real the fucking coon. Yes. If you're not acting like a good Negro in the eyes of the right or the left, the right will call you a thug and the, the left will call you Uncle Tom. <laughs> you know how mad you got to make a white person for them to call you Uncle Tom? You got to make them really mad. You got to really be cooning to get them to, you know, say some racist shit like that. You race traitor? Because it's like, first of all, where you get off telling somebody else's race what's race traitoring, right? So the fact that you've jumped over that barrier, like there's a lot of barriers here to jump over before he called him an Uncle Tom. That's why I say it's more severe. 